we've got a principle for you today but we're going to do it with an applied attack so the question would be what would, what you, would you do, do? I know what I'd do. Hit me. Unleash the inner tiger. Right guys, welcome to another video. As you can see by the intro, we're changing little things up a bit. Scotchy. Working with the format. Scotchy. I don't drink. <laughs> so on this video, we're gonna deal with an attack and Chris came up with an idea about a month ago. Yes, I didn't see somebody else do this and adapt <laughs> it at all. But this is, as you know, this is what we do. I saw somebody do something, I thought, hmm, that's given me an idea, and I'm gonna run with it. So, Kev's running on this one, not blind. Blind. He doesn't know what I'm gonna do. I'm totally blind. I, I know the attack, and in my mind, I've always, I've ordered a box, some cushions, and a cuddle pillar. You need some cream as well. <laughs> So as you can see from the attack, I was coming in, I'm laying the hand. Attacker's mentality, I'm gonna use my non-dominant hand so that I can then whack with my dominant hand. So for the camera, even though I'm right-handed and I fight the southpaw, yada yada yada, I'm gonna just put my right hand on so you guys can see. Excellent. And this yeah. is where I get hurt. We shall arise. Right, I've got myself into an assisted tripod. I've got a bench beside me that's helping me keep a little bit of stability. Two canes in one hand, so I can... Do you know, before this, I remember when I had proper rookies. Do you? Mm. Anyway. You shouldn't destroy them then, should you? Well, you know. This is, I think, attack number two in our top ten list, and it will be the proverbial hand-on, grab, and a punch. And as we have said, on numerous occasions, if he throws that punch and I try and block it with my cane, I will lose. Unless I am 100% prepared. Now, distance here is shorter. Yeah, so I'm not going to be able to do that. If I've got the side, as soon as he puts his hand on, I can now defend myself. So rather than deal with this first, I'm going to deal with this and this. This works really, once you've seen the technique, practice this with your eyes closed. Because I find, going by touch alone, it works better. I want to pull him off balance. Now, we can pull on the elbow. <laughs> Ain't gonna be that hard. I, I shall breathe gently <laughs> on his knees. So I can either pull on his elbow, use my elbow to hook round if I was on two canes, like somebody I know, pull down, I'm pulling him down. But at the same time, I'm driving that forward. Ow. So <laughs> That's not gonna be nice. So I'm doing, well, the locomotion, really. But it's, <laughs> it's a ba if you consider the basic karate punch, that's all I'm doing. Yeah. So to start with, I'm just pulling and driving. I'm being very careful here, because he's a fragile little ferret. I'm a flower. <laughs> Do you see what I have to put up with? I like to tweak around with things. That is effective. I'm avoiding his groin. So what I'm going to do as I'm pulling, I'm going to rotate my hips into it as well. I've dropped my weight. I can't help but come forward. I know. As soon as the elbow goes down, I'm... Yeah, so as soon as he, that is on, I am pulling on that. I'm going, follow the shoulder to the elbow, follow that line. As you know, I like to roll with this. You can push it up, but I can't, you know, I've, can't got, I've got short arms, he's tall. He's the tallest person I know in the shed. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna pull him down, bring him down to my level. I can then... Well, the weather's nice down here. It is, it's a bit colder down here, I find. I can strike. 
I can then just start doing all the usual things we like to do, double tapping, yeah. dragging and striking, <laughs> all the usual stuff. Technique we did previously, oh look, one, two, strike, through. Hmm, nice. Good way to remember. Yeah, one, two, strike, through. through. There you go. I could turn that into a song. Right. Oh. It doesn't matter. I'm just looking for the, if his arm's locked out straight, Oh God. <laughs> you know, it doesn't bear thinking about really, but the amount of distance is going to pull through. If he does the clenched, relax your elbow, relax, close in pull, he's done the work for me. I'm going to let him pull me and I'm just going to rotate yeah. and drop. I'm using him as my support. Actually, I'm using you as my support at the moment. We like to support each other on this channel. Yes. Please Click support us by the the link, the, clicking the like button. The, oh, oh, you, you know what to do. You know the drill. <laughs> So you can let go now, I know it's very friendly. So all I've done is this. Now this, I've tried this, I've blocked with this. That is very, very stable. I've had people hit me with bows and joes to test it. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. So I'm driving that through. Ha! <laughs> Look at that, it went. No ferrule, you see. Now, this is why I've got ferrules. If you have a cane with no feral outside in the UK, that is kind of then classed as a weapon. Yeah. So you must have a feral. But because we're training, it will slide off and not stick. Yeah. Though Kev is very sticky. <laughs> I missed your hat. I know. So we have this motion and then I'm turning, dropping, using that for stability. And that gives me the, I wouldn't say the edge, but it gives me something. As you know, techniques are messy in real life. So it's going to be adrenaline, everything's going to go through your head. Oh, you've got pointy ones. I'm going to change my cane. Because the difference for two canes mm -hmm. is going to be nasty. And with this technique, you've seen this one before. Cane pops up, does a little bit of damage as you go, links over the arm, and then I'm just going to put the cane to the floor again there's my stability. Now I can come in and do some nice groin shots from here. Don't you can see this quite nicely. But me, I don't like bending that low, so I'm going to pop up, come into the back of his neck, and bring him down twice. Release this cane and send him away with a headache. It's not very nice, is it? I did say it was nice. So the basic principle is using them for support breaking their balance and using that for the strike. Not a lot of distance required because they are bringing themselves yeah, onto the move. Why, oh, thank you. I like me pointy one. <sighs> I can point another one. Yeah. Nice and simple, but it works. Robbie, hope you liked the video. Congrats for making it to the end. As usual, please, 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 we have a merchandising shop, there is a link in the description. Um, all proceeds go to keep this channel going, which is getting a little bit hard, to say the least. Yes. Drop us a line, it falls the algorithms to say that uh, we're actually popular. Thumbs up will do the same. It's very aggressive, isn't it? <laughs> Cage Tiger, Cage Judicorn. All right, buttercup. This is his line, he forgets it every time. Don't forget to forget. <laughs> See what I have to work with? Amateurs. Brother said my Hamlet made him weep, and I deal with you amateurs. You make me weep every day. You're jealous. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell. Which is? It's over there. It's more dramatic if it's just up here. You didn't see Quasimodo going, oh actually lads, I just got to bend down and knock it. He was up there with the big boys. And as always, free the fear. Not the unicorn, not the ferret, definitely not the tiger. <laughs>